Okay, Alex Webster looking on. Time running out. Six minutes and 47 seconds remain. Cowboys run first down. Danny Reeves with the football. Again, great blocking out in front of Danny Reeves. And would you believe he fumbled the football? I don't believe it. I don't need it. Well, hello. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Check out this video and welcome to the Gridiron. And before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much. Everyone out there has been watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Let me give this video a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment below or possibly share the video. It would mean so much to me. But just anyway, just thank you so much for just taking time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> we brought him in and uh, we signed him, Isaiah Wilson, to the practice squad, that is. So we'll have to wait and see um, you know, how things turn out there. Apparently, he also had a... Um, uh, he spent some time with, with the Colts, and uh, they brought him in and took a look at him, and they didn't sign him, so we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see it's how things work out. But, I mean, <sighs> you know, there's a chance. There's a shot. You know I mean? I mean, just the, the guy, okay, the past couple of years has had some problems. I don't know if he's got demons going on or what the problem is, but if somebody can straighten him out, we might have just we might have just hit like three grand slams right here. Maybe. I'll have to wait and see. But um, coming out of high school, he guy who was a five star recruit, okay, from uh, Poly Prep in Brooklyn. All right. Uh, he was in, in, in that class that came out, which was in 2017, to go into college, he was the fifth-rated offensive tackle in the whole class. Okay. Uh, he redshirted his freshman season, all right, and he he was at Georgia, okay, with Andrew Thomas. So he redshirted in 2017, but 2018 and 2019, you know, he played. And as I said, he was the uh, right tackle. And Andrew Thomas was the left tackle. And in 2020, they both came out. They both got signed in the first round. And obviously, as we know, Andrew Thomas got signed by, you know, or picked, drafted by the New York Giants at number four overall. And um, Isaiah Wilson was drafted by the Tennessee Titans, number 29 in the first round of the 2020 draft. Um, you know, the, and... Uh, Andrew Thomas and Isaiah Wilson, they're both only 22 years old. You know, so they got they got room for growth, guys. Scary as that might sound. Now, this guy is freaking huge. I mean, I've seen, I saw a couple different, I saw, I saw six foot six, 350 pounds. I saw six foot seven, 340 pounds. I mean, this is a big human being. His arms are 35 and a half inches long. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's almost like, you know, if yeah, somebody carved out a perfect, you know, <laughs> offensive tackle for like the right, right, I mean, this would be, it. I mean, this is, this guy's just like a road grader. I mean, whew, man, uh, now, it, you know, there's a lot of familiarity going on here, okay? He got signed to the Giants, okay, uh, you know, where Andrew Thomas is, okay? But in practice, okay, when he was at Georgia, practice, he was going up against Azizo Jolari. He was going up against Lorenzo Carter. All right, familiarity there. Um, now, in college, you know, yeah, I saw he, there was like no problems. He had like no character issues or anything like that. I don't know, they started to come out when he got to the pros. But... Um, uh, Rob Sale, our offensive line coach, okay, was on was the offensive line coach for Georgia in 2015, and he was recruiting Isaiah Wilson. When Isaiah, well, I guess he would have been a in 2015, he would have been a junior, okay, a poly prep in Brooklyn, and he re helped recruit him to come to Georgia. Um, when he got to Georgia, Rob Sale wasn't there anymore, but Rob Sale was there in 2015 when he was recruiting him. So, Rob Sale is familiar with him. Rob Sale's, you know, you know 
didn't see what he necessarily did in college, but he, you know, he recruited him while he was in high school. Okay, so he knows he's got some familiarity there. So, um, you know, he, he's surrounded himself with a lot of people who he knows. He, I, mean, I can't say trust, but he, guys, people he's familiar with. So, he, he went to uh, social media and was asking for a second chance. You know, uh, I guess it might be more like kind of like a third chance. But, uh, you know, he was asking for, you know, another chance. The Giants brought him in, and we'll just have to wait and see where it goes from there. Now, you know, as far as the Giants are concerned, they only have, like, about $2 million in, you know, cap space. So they can't go out and just start bringing in all different kinds of guys, you know, making trades and bringing guys in high salary. They can't do that. So this guy here, he's very low risk, very high reward, Okay. He's going to be, he's on the cheap, all right, he's, he's basically just, you know, prove it, see, see what you can do. Um, the, way the, the way the Giants offensive line just keeps falling by the wayside, um, you know, my, if he can hang in there, okay, and, and, and um, make, it, make it through through the practices and all that and everything, you know, there's a chance he might get called up. Um now, he has had some problems once he got out of college, okay? Uh, he had some, you know, this is like, this is basically, as I said, kind of like his third chance. He had some problems with Tennessee. He had some problems with Miami. So he's starting to run out of chances, okay? Um, uh, I mean, he's, you know, it was in college and high school. He was phenomenal. Now, I mean, sometimes it's kind of, it seems like, you know, like why, why Gordon, I mean, he's been, Josh Gordon, he's been suspended like five or six times. I mean, why would you, I mean, I, the, the, and the guy's probably going to get suspended again. I mean, right? But every time he comes out, somebody's always there, hey, yeah, come on, come on on our team. You, you got somebody who has a problem. He's not changing. He keeps saying he's going to change. He's been suspended like five or six times. I mean, are you serious? But, you know, unfortunately, in, in the way football is nowadays, it's so much more than just a game, okay? It's, it's, you know, it's a business. And if you got somebody out there who might have some, some problems, some character issues or whatever, even apparently, even the Giants with Joe Judge, on, uh, you, know, you know, set the standard and all of that, they're not bringing guys that are causing problems and everything, you know. Even Joe Judge apparently is willing to, I guess, take a chance on the guy. So, so he was suspended for violating team rules. Um, well, it was at Tennessee, okay. In September of 2020, he he was uh, driving under the influence. Um, after that year in 2021, January 2021, he was in a high-speed chase and he got arrested. I mean, you know, just all kinds of stupid things. Really stupid things. And I said, I don't know if you got demons or what, or somebody on the Giants can talk some sense into him or what, but, I mean, if somebody can calm the guy down and get him on a straight and narrow, I mean, we might have found ourselves a diamond in the rough here, but time will tell. I mean, because the way things have been going with him, okay, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, things might be going along, okay, and you think everything's just fine, and all of a sudden, bam, uh, a DUI. Uh, you know, what, 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 what happened, you know, a couple months went by, everything was okay. So, you know, it's, 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 with him, it seems like it's going to be like one day at a time, right? So, we'll have to wait and see. And I said, if, if, if. We might, I said, possibly, if we can get him on a straight and narrow, we might have just hit this one out of the park. Could you imagine Andrew Thomas, left tackle, 22 years old, and Isaiah Wilson, right tackle, 22 years old? I mean, my God. We could just pencil those guys in for the next 10 years. I mean, wouldn't that be unbelievable? Whew. Knock on wood, guys. Now, I saw yesterday, I saw the, um, the injury update, like the more or less like the walking wounded. The Giants had months ago, oh, Boat full of guys on there. And I kind of thing I, I didn't understand was the guys that did not participate in practice yesterday, okay, was uh, Ben Bredesen. He had his hand. That's understandable. I, you know, Shepard, Slayton, that's understandable. They got the hamstring. But I also saw online did not participate was Blake Martinez. Well, no kidding. I mean, he, he's out for the whole season. I, I don't 
I didn't quite get that one. But also, limited in practice, okay, with Saquon Barkley with his knee. That's probably going to be the whole year long. Every year, just pencil him in, limited in practice, Saquon Barkley. Okay. Uh, crossing uh, his elbow, Nate Ebner, he's still got the quad problem. Uh, Colin Gillespie, he's got an ankle. Kenny Galladay with his hip, and we'll probably just be able to pencil that in the rest of the season. Kenny Galladay for something. Just penciling him in the rest of the year. Now we got Casey Cryer. He's got a knee problem. Now, apparently it seems to be a little, a little worrisome because the Giants, when they brought Isaiah Wilson in on Tuesday, um, apparently they brought in like nine other guys, I think it was, for just to try out. And I think two or three of them were long snappers. So, Casey Cryer, his knee may not be, uh, you know, may not be something that it's going to just heal itself within the next week or so, whatever. There might be some some issues there, so we'll have to keep an eye out on that. Logan Ryan, okay, he was on the, the uh, limited practice. He's got a hamstring problem, all right? Caden Smith, he had his knee, all right, so. Um, but, you know, so. <laughs> we got we got some walking wounded there, but talking about uh, the walking wounded, something on the brighter side, there was a John Ross sighting. Oh, my goodness. Um, he was, uh, he returned to the field. Okay, now he missed him basically the entire preseason because of a hamstring. Uh, him and Ellerson Smith. Now, I I guess Ellerson Smith's, uh, I guess his hamstring injury was even worse. I guess I haven't heard anything about him at all, so we'll have to wait and see. But, I mean, it, these the hamstrings are just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable what they're doing to the Giants this year. Now, you know, John Ross, you know, it's nice to see him on the field and all of this. So we'll have to see if he gets activated. Also, we're not ruling out Shepard and Slate. We're not ruling them out for Sunday against the Saints either. Um, Joe Judge is kind of like wants to see what, what they're going to do. Like maybe, um, you know, today in practice, maybe Friday. See, you know, they go out there and they start running around a little bit. You know, see what, see what they do. See what the trainers and the doctors all think about that. So we haven't ruled those guys out. But... Possibly John Ross might be suiting up for us. Maybe it's not this week. You know, hopefully, possibly <laughs> the the following week. So we'll have to wait and see. But you know, with John Ross, I, yeah, um, I think it was Jimmy Johnson said injured players just just get injured, or, or you know, hurt players just get hurt. There's, there's some guys that just get hurt, and that's what John Ross just seems to kind of you know. 2017, his rookie year, okay, he had a knee injury, he had a shoulder injury, and he only played in three games, okay. 2018, he actually played in 13 games, which was like a small miracle. Um, he had 21 catches for 210 yards, but he had seven touchdowns. So basically one out of, in 2018, one out of every three times he caught the ball went for a touchdown. Whew. All right, cool. 2019, he was on the IR. He had a shoulder injury, and he only wound up playing in eight games. All right. uh, 2020, he suffered a foot injury. Okay. Um, you know, he, he, he did get to play in some games, okay? He practiced, you know, um, he, and he played in, in th three games, okay, in uh, 2020. Uh, he had, you know, he had two catches had, uh, for 17 yards, okay? Uh, 2019, okay, was it was his like his finest season, okay. 2019, he had the injury with the shoulder, he had a shoulder injury. He only played in eight games, but he he caught 28 passes for 506 yards and three touchdowns, okay. So even though he only played half the season, because he was on on IR, I mean, if you play if he actually played the whole season, he would have had 56 catches for over a thousand yards. So the possibilities are there, but it's just. You know, 2017, 18, 19, and 20 is four years. He did not play a full season in any of them. I mean, a couple of them weren't even close. You know, um, as I said, 2017 played three games. 2020, play, he played three games. You know, so it's... the 2021, he's already missed three games. So, I mean, whatever we can get out of him, you know, <laughs> don't expect much out of him. I mean, you know... Um, it was funny because in college, okay, in 2013, 2014, and 2016, all right, he played all 13 games, all right. 2015, he um, tore his ACL in spring track 
practice, and he missed the whole season, okay? But the other three seasons, all right, um, he uh, yeah, played the whole season. So he did injure his last season in 2016, all right? He did injure his shoulder, okay? And he re-aggravated it, I think, the last game of the season. I think they were playing Alabama in a ball game, and he re-injured it all and everything. So, uh, so he had has had a little injuries in in college as well too. But three out of the four seasons he was in college, he played the whole season. Now, obviously, his biggest thing and what I've been hearing, okay, is uh, you know his the, the four point two two at the combine, all right, and that's what I was hearing when he was actually healthy in the, in. in training camp and all and everything and you know for that short period of time before he hurt his hamstring um you know how fast he is okay now if uh this 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 scene here from the longest yard uh tells exactly the th what i've been hearing okay about john ross right here he's fast he, he's really really fast i mean he's so fast he makes fast people look not fast Oh, man, I love that movie. If you haven't seen The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler and Goldberg and Stone Cold Steve Austin and Michael Irvin and uh, Burt Reynolds and it's a boatload of guys in there. If you haven't seen that movie, The Longest Yard, you got to check it out. It's a good movie and it's really funny, too. Got a lot of good good actors in there. Um, so, as I said, don't, don't expect too much from John Ross, but if we can actually get him on the field, you know, you know, yeah, it, it, with his speed, you know, He's going to be a little bit of a mismatch, and they're going to, it's just like with Evan Ingram. They're going to have to take, um, you know, take notice of him. They just can't say, well, he gets injured all the time, or he's not, he doesn't catch that many passes, or this or that or the other thing. Um, you know, they're going to have to respect him when he's on the field, so we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, if he gets on the field, hopefully it'll be sometime soon. Now, Joe Judge, I mean, talking about hamstring injuries, apparently, I guess Golden Tate was... I don't, I don't recall uh, what show we was on or whatever, but he was talking about um, being, uh, you know, with, with Joe Judge last year and, and about the, um, the the way he practices and, you know, and the training and all that and everything. And uh, Golden Tate was not a big fan of it. He says, you know, you practice, you know, guys, you practice the way Joe Judge does. He said, guys start getting hurt now, you know, take it for what it's worth. I mean, Golden Tate, you know, uh, you know, isn't with the Giants anymore, you know, he's a, still a free agent, he's looking to get signed, uh, apparently his time there with Joe Judge and all probably wasn't the happiest of times, so I don't know if he's, you know, a little sour apples with him or sour grapes, you know, he's not, you know, but he's taking shots at Joe Judge, but uh, he wasn't very happy, you know, apparently practicing all like that. Now, Joe Judge, you know, at the conference, press conference he had yesterday, or he apparently had like some index cards, cards he brought with him with some statistics on him and all and everything like that, okay? And what he was saying to the, um, to the reporters there, right? He said, uh, it's, you know, it's, probably, it's not like an experimental program, okay? It's a time-tested program, he says, that works. Now, he was bringing this up basically, okay, you know, I've been with, you know, it's, it's worked for uh, the, the teams I've been on in college, like Alabama, okay. He said it's worked for uh, you know when he was in the pros, okay, like with New England. So, you know, he's been in some pretty good situations, right? And apparently, what he was saying, this it works. It helps um, with the soft tissue injuries, okay. It's a tested program. It works, right? Now he said in 2020, he said his the soft tissue injuries, okay, for the Giants went down. Okay, now soft tissue injuries, you know, it's like sprains, and hamstrings, <laughs> okay, stuff like that. Not broke, obviously not broken bones or anything like that, but he said, apparently he said in 2020, the soft tissue injuries for the Giants went down, okay. Now, and he said, the, the, he said apparently, what he said, I don't know where he's getting this information from, he said the hamstring injuries for the Giants had were about half of what the the rest of the teams in the NFL had, all right, so, um, now the average last year, soft tissue injuries, okay, in the NFL, apparently, he said, went up, 
Right, the injuries, soft tissue injuries. I said, I don't know where he's getting any stats from. He had them on, written down on a card, and he was kept looking down at him. I said, so the average last year, the soft tissue injuries for the rest of the other NFL teams, they went up, okay? The Giants went down. So I, I said, I don't know where he's getting these injuries. You got to look. I mean, I'll, for the most part, we were pretty healthy. I mean, even Daniel Jones, he, he hurt himself, but he was only out for a few games. I mean, Saquon was out, but he hurt, you know. He had the knee injury. He was gone. I mean, Lorenzo Carter and the X-Man. But, I mean, uh, you know, Xavier McKinney, he was hurt, but he, he hurt, you know, he broke his uh, of the bone in, in uh, preseason. You know, so he missed most of the time. But he, when he came back, he was out. Wasn't, I mean, a lot of the guys, you know, were pretty much kind of, you know, I mean, you start looking across the board. It's like, you know. You know, some guys maybe missed a little time or a little here or there or whatever. But, you know, for the most part, you know, I mean, Slayton, I know he was bothered all year long, you know, but he played in every game. Evan Ingram actually played in every every game. Sterling Shepard was relatively healthy. You know, I mean, Gallman was there. He played, you know, he was healthy. You know, so, I mean, I mean the thing on the defense, I mean, like Blake Martinez, he was a tackling machine. You know, so, you know, we... We we had we we had, did have some pretty healthy guys last year. I mean, you know, so you got to give them some credit there. Okay, now um, yeah, he also mentioned last year. Okay, the, the Giants were second in the league with fewest missed practices. Okay, due from their uh, you know this this training that he goes to. Okay, and they had the fewest missed games as well too. All right, so but that was last year. Okay. <laughs> this is this year. I mean, you know, I know I'm going to forget some guys, but I mean, like with Ellerson Smith and Kenny Galladay with his hamstring and John Ross with his hamstring. Okay, now we got Logan Ryan. He's got a problem with his hamstring. And then we got Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton with their hamstrings in the same game. I mean, something's going on. I mean, I mean, we got to, you know, nothing, nothing can derail a, a season faster than injuries, okay, and the way the Giants are going, so, you know, yeah, they're, they're causing some problems for themselves, some stupid penalties here, and, you know, I both a bad call there, and stuff like that, but these injuries the Giants are coming up with, I mean, nothing can derail a, a season faster, and, we, uh, you know, the, one of the biggest contributors to why the Giants are 0-3 right now, okay, is these injuries, and they're not getting any better. And if they don't get any better real soon, the Giants are in for a long, long season. Well, as always, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking time any day to check out this video. You guys stay safe out there, and go Giants! Woo!